Hello, hello. You reached me at the time when I have to fix my internet. So we've, we've, we've got off to a great start. It's great. My internet has just gone down just as I was getting ready to get started. But that's a nice time. This is a nice time for my internet to go down because I'd rather it go down before the show or at the beginning of the show than in, in the middle of it. Uh, so count your blessings, folks. This is uh, all part of the act, everyone. All part of the act. So uh, just bear with me a second. And we should. It's saying it's connected. Excellent. Run a couple of Python scripts. You're getting to look behind it. Oh, you're not getting to look behind the scenes. But uh, if you may have got a brief look at behind the scenes at how clean my desktop is and go, wow, that is a man who likes to keep things organized. So I think we are back in the room. So let's see how this works out. Let's go for it. Let's go for it, everyone. OK, what you see on the screen right now, if you are live here in Hamburg, let's have a cheer for everyone here live in Hamburg. Woo! And then cheer live at nice and loud so everybody at home watching on Twitch can hear you as well. Let's hear it for the people on Twitch. Yeah! Twitch people, if you can't hear, I, I don't know if the audience are mic'd up, but they cheered so loudly, seriously. Glass shattered and went everywhere. It was incredibly dangerous. They're doing that for you people. They're doing that for you Twitch people. Okay, so uh, live audience, if you are in Hamburg, go to this web link down at the bottom of the screen, alistair.games slash play. This is how you're going to interact with the show. Uh, if you are watching on Twitch, you'll be able to interact with the show directly by typing into Twitch chat. So. If you go on, you should see a little website. Let me know if you're having problems connecting. It should say, say Play 22 Festival Hamburg. We are going to be using these wonderful, wonderful devices, these telephonic communication devices which we have in our hands to make beautiful art together, my friends. We're going to be doing literature. We're going to be doing, uh, going to be doing some art, some drawing and collage. We're going to be selling because that's the most important part of art. Can you sell it? And then finally, we'll have a beautiful contemporary dance session together where we will feel the flow of energy, the flow of movement flowing through us. Can, can you feel the flow of energy and movement flowing through you right now? Are you feeling, are you ready to engage with some art? Who's here is ready to engage with some art? Yeah, yeah. Who's here? Is anyone over here feeling particularly artistic? Yes, yes they are! <laughs> and over on this side of the room, how artistic are we feeling? Yes, yes, we have some immediate, amazing contemporary dance from someone over there. So, everybody, are you connected to the website? Twitch people at home, I hope you are connected to, uh, to uh, Twitch chat while you're watching. Because I think without further ado, it's time for us to kick off some art making. Are you ready for an engaging and emotional and poetic piece of literature? Yeah? Come on. How ready are you for some literature? I, I, wanna hear, I want to hear you shout so loud for literature that Shakespeare's bones rattle in his grave. Come on, let's hear it for literature. Yes, yes, my friends. Literature, that's where we're going to start. And we're going to begin with the greatest piece of English language ever written. The Stories of Winnie the Pooh by A.A. A. Milne. Yes, yes, we all, we all know the famous stories of Winnie the Pooh. Very, very popular literary figure. Greatest mind of our times. Now, if you're watching on Twitch, uh, if you see the words in the book, you can change them. If, you type, if you've got a word you don't like, you're like, oh, I don't like that word breakfast. I want to turn it into lunch. Type in replace breakfast with lunch, and that uh, word breakfast will disappear and be replaced with the word lunch. Uh, similarly, in the audience live in Hamburg, you can type in things into your phones, and they should appear on the screen. So if you make a little change, uh, I'm just going to sh do it now. I'm going to replace the word uh, breakfast with lunch, and hopefully that should come through. And if it doesn't come through, I know something's breaking. We're off to a great start, everyone. Uh, I'm just going to have to check to see if I've not uh, lost the internet connection again. 
I don't know, but something's just broken. Let's try it again. I it bet it's going to do a whole bunch of changes. So let's uh, very apologize for this. Uh, very sorry for the technical issues, everyone. Um, hey, are you all right? Um, interesting question. <laughs> um, I'm just, I've uh, just got to, uh, I think it might be again, something crashed. But let's uh, try it again. We'll try it again, everyone. Let's hear it for, let's hear it for technical issues. Let's hear it for the awesome tech team backstage keeping everything running this whole week. They have been amazing. So, yes, round of applause for the tech team. Okay, so, we've done this bit. The blinking red light shows that we've connected, so that's good. And now, once again, let's try typing stuff into my phone. I'm just going to try replacing breakfast with lunch. Oh, we can see stuff starting to come through. Visiting, slapping, there we go. Lots of replacements. Tralala has been replaced with hello. And I see lunch has come through. Excellent, we're working. So, we started with Winnie the Pooh. We're going to turn it into a beautiful new piece of literature, brand new, never before seen, created here in Hamburg, part of Hamburg's important literary tradition. So I shall read you this beautiful novel, and we shall feel free to change whatever you like. So this is chapter two of Winnie the Pooh, in which Pooh goes visiting and gets into a tight place. Edward Bear, known to his friends as Winnie the Pooh, or Pooh for short, was walking proudly through the forest to one day, humming proudly to himself. He had made up a little hum that very morning as he was doing his stoutness exercises in front of the glass. Tra-la-la, tra-la-la, as he stretched up as high as pizza could go. But then, tra-la-la, tra-la, oh, help, la, as pizza tried to eat from eat his toes. Before Donkey Goes Pizza had said it over, but over from G Clown, until pizza had learnt it off by heart. But now pizza was humming it right through properly. It went like this. Tra-la-la, tra-la-la, tra-la-la. Rum-tum, tiddle-um-tum. Tiddle-little, 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 tiddle-little. Rum-tum, tiddle-um. Well, Lolly was humming this poo from G-Dragon, but walking along gaily, wondering what everyone else was doing. But what it felt like being somebody else when suddenly Lolly came from a sandy bank, but in G-Bank was a large hole. Aha, said Rum tum tiddle um tum. What does a lolly sound like? We need a voice for the lolly. What's a, a lolly? I'm not thinking. Like, Hello, I'm a I'm a lolly. I'm a lolly. Okay, so this will be my lolly voice. Okay. Aha, said Rum tum tiddle um. If I know anything about anything, that hole means rabbit. Lolly said. But Sally bar means company. Verst said. Okay, so we got a sausage now. What does, what, okay, I'll have to do a sausage voice. Hello, I'm a sausage. But company means food. But listening to me, hummy. But such like. Rum tum tiddle um. So Verst bent up, put his head into G hole, but called out, Is anybody home? There was a sudden scuffling noise from inside G hole. But then. Silence. What I banana was? Is anybody at home? Called out very loudly. No, banana a voice then added, you needn't shout so loud. I heard you quite well G first time. Bother, banana. Isn't there anybody else there here at all? Nobody. Winnie the Pooh took his head out of G-hole, thought for a little. First thought from donut rabbit doers called Mary Doers. There must be Prince here, because Prince must have thought nobody. So first put his head back in donut hole, thought, 
Hello! Rabbit doers called Murray doers call. Isn't that you? No. Not. I'm gonna move this down. I'm gonna move this down so I get a better view of you all. There we go. There we go. And the audience can go home. They get to look up right up my chin. Excellent. No thought. Let's wait for a Chinese government. <laughs> In bad different sort of voice this time. Isn't that Chinese government's voice? I'm not going to do accents, folks. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so as I embody the Chinese government, we've got to be very strong and draconian. That's that's what I'm going to do for the Chinese government. Strong and draconian voice. I don't think so, thought Chinese government. It isn't meant to be. I have no idea what President Xi, Xi sounds like, so I'll just have to do him like something. Oh, thought Xi. Ver stuck his mouth out of K-hole. Had another say, then Verse put it back. Thought, well, could Apple very kindly tell me where Sloth is? Verse had gone from see his friend She Duck, who is a great friend of his. Oh wait, and I've got to get to do a duck voice. Okay. Wah, wah, wah. This is me. Thought Duck, very much surprised. What sort of me? She bear. <laughs> anyone, any? Can anyone? Uh, Donald Duck. Donald Duck. What's he saying like? like <laughs> thought Donald Duck. Still more surprised. Quite, quite sure. Thought she. <laughs> I know it doesn't sound quite on brand for Donald Duck, but I'm trying. <laughs> so she pushed, pushed, pushed his way through K-hole hole. At last, Rocket got in. <laughs> Not Donald Bear, looking at him all over. <laughs> Who did Bar say it was? Duck to Gollum, haven't I? What has to be be from careful provinces? What about Bar Mouth would have sent him? She always liked Bar Little Something at 11 o'clock in K-Hole morning. Rocket Burrito, very glad from Benadryl addiction. Gollum, Gollum. Getting out K-Hole plates, mugs, went Gollum, Gollum, that. Honey, you not know, condensed mix with your breads. Rocket Burrito, so excited that Rocket laughed. Both! Then, so as not seem greedy, Rocket added, but please, don't bother about K-hole bread, please! For about a long time before that, Rocket laughed nothing until last, humming from K-hole, Gollum, Gollum! In bar, rather sticky voice, Rocket got up, shook Gollum, Gollum, lovingly by the paw. Where was I? Laughter, Rocket must be going on! <laughs> Monsieur! Laughed Gollum, Gollum politely. Well, laughed Gollum. What if he could stay sneaky a little longer? Will it if you. Rocket tried very hard from looking K hole direction of K hole larder. As Gollum matter of fact, laughed Gollum. <laughs> what if he were going off myself directly? Who? Well then, I'll be going on. Goodbye. Well, goodbye. When you're back at Gollum, I won't have any more. Is there any more? Asked Gollum quickly. Trump stuck K-hole covers off K-hole dishes, whispered, yes, there wasn't. What has you? Oh, wait, okay, so we got Trump now. We got Trump now. Uh, <laughs> I forgot, it's been so long, I've forgotten what he sounds like. Okay, Trump, it's like, uh, uh, 
Oh, I, I, I am America, but he's... Uh, I, okay, something that Trump would say, I need to get into the voice. I need to do a Trump voice. Anything Trump would say. The ring. I want... No, Gollum wants the ring. Trump, Trump has other agendas. <laughs> what was... No Mexicans. No Mexicans. Who's going to pay for the wall? Mexico's going to pay for the wall. With that, with that, she whispered not, whispered Trump, nodding from K-hole Trump. Well, goodbye. Watashi must be going on. So hi there, people. Started from climb out of K-hole hole. Hi there, people. Pulled with his front paws, pushed with his back paws. In Trump little, while his nose burrito out in K-hole opened them again, then his ears, then his front butt, but his shoulders then. Oh, oh, help! whispered Artudito. <laughs> I'd better go back. Oh, oh, bother! whispered Artudito. Oh, Artudito, shall I have to go on? Artudito, can't you either? whispered Artudito. Oh, oh, help! Bother! This is his, his like head. This is the thin head thing. I've, I've tried to do that. Okay. Now by this time, Artudito fake wanted from go for Artudito walk too. Finding K-hole, front door full. Hi there, people. Went out by back door. Came round from R2-D2, looked at him. <laughs> Hello, are R2-D2 stuck? Hi there, people asked. No, 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 screamed R2-D2 carelessly. Just resting, thinking humming from myself. Here, give us R2-D2 paw. R2-D2 duck stretched out of R2-D2 paw. Mickey Mouse pulled and pulled. Oh, ha ha, cried Mickey. You're hurting, ha ha. Black factory, black factories, screamed Mickey Mouse. You're stuck, ha ha. It all comes, screamed Mickey crossly, of not having front doors big enough, ha ha. It all comes, screamed Mickey Mouse sternly. I'm eating too much. Mickey screamed. Mickey screamed at black time. Screamed Mickey Mouse. Only Mickey didn't forbid from saying anything. Screamed Mickey Mouse. That one of us burrito eating too much. Screamed Mickey Mouse. Mickey knew what then wasn't me. Hi there, people. Screamed. Taco. Taco. Mickey shall go fetch Christopher Robin. Christopher Robin lived at Olive Blue, other end of Olive Blue Hell. When High Dare people came back with Mickey Mouse, saw Olive Blue, front half of Goofy, the High Dare Ox, ah! Ah! silly old bear, in such goofy, loving voice that everybody felt quite hopeful again. Oh, we got a robot. Uh, goofy Burrito, just from, just beginning from Think. Ah! Robot sniffing slightly. That Goofy Mouse might never be able to use his front door again. Goofy should hate that. Hi there, Ox. Ah! So should I. Ah! Goofy Mouse! Use, use his front door again? Ah! Christopher Crusoe! Of course he'll use his front door again! Good! Ah! Goofy Mouse! Well, well, we can't pull Goofy out. Goofy, we might push Goofy back. Goofy Mouse scratched his whiskers thoughtfully, pointed out that when once Goofy Burrito pushed back, hi there, Ox, Burrito back. Of course, anybody Burrito made more glad from Benadryl addiction, Vladimir, than hi there, Ox, Burrito. Still there, it Burrito. Some lived, oops, trees, some lived underground and Vladimir mean, I'd never get out. Ah, Vladimir! <laughs> you mean, ah, Vladimir Mouse! That having got so far, it seems Vladimir pity from wasted. Christopher Crusoe nodded. But, there's one, only one thing from be done. Hi there, Ox. Ah! We shall have from wait for Vladimir from get thin again. Ah, ah, ah. How long does getting thin take? Asked Vladimir anxiously. 
about Vladimir Week, you should think. But, 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 you can't stay here for Vladimir Week. Because Vladimir's got a week to himself. It's like we've got Play Festival Week and then there's Vladimir Week after it. Vladimir can stay here, all right, silly old robot. It's getting Vladimir out. Which, why so difficult? We'll read for you. Ah! Vladimir most cheerfully. You, you hope it won't snow. Hi there, Ro Ox. Added. You say, old fellow, you're taking up Vladimir as government-backed terrorism de deal of room. Oops, my house. Do Vladimir mind when you use your back legs as shirts, towel horse? Because you love. There they are doing nothing. And it would be worm convenient just from hiring mighty pebble of pig smiting towels on them. Baba week! Ah! Schultz! Gloomily, what about meals? I'm afraid, yes, meals. Ah! Clara and Roman Crusoe because of getting thin quicker. But we will read from you. Nuki Dookie began from Sai, but found they weren't coming there. Kids couldn't, because there are coming their kids. Burrito so tightly stuck. Clara and Roman, tear rolled up his eye, as there are coming their kids. Ah! But would Clara and Roman read Clara and Roman's sustaining book, such as would help Clara and Roman wedge Nuki Dookie Oops' great tightness? So, for Clara and Roman Week, Clara and Roman Crusoe read that sort of book at Mighty Pebble of Pig Smiting, North End of Clara. And Roman, Clara and Roman Mouse, hung his washing on Mighty Pebble of Pig Smiting, South End, oops, between Nuki Juki, felt Mighty Pebble of Pig Smiting, Clara and Roman, getting slenderer, slenderer. At mighty pebble of pig smiting end of mighty pebble of pig smiting week. Clara and Robinson Crusoe. Ah. Now. And there, my friends, we shall end the torrid tale of Winnie the Pooh and his run-ins with R2-D2. Vladimir, a screaming Mickey Mouse and President Xi of China. Let's hear it for Mickey Mouse. So I like to say, like, over the course of this literary experience, I hope you're absorbing the literature. Get that literature inside you. Let it be your inspiration. Because we're now going to interpret this literary device into a beautiful illustrated scene. So I'm going to switch us over to the next part of the creativity show and you can see on my table i have a series of wonderful creativity objects atop this sheet of paper and what you can do using your phones is you can type in what you want to see on this tableau type in the name of what you want to see and the coordinates you want to see it at now people on twitch if you want to join in as well all you need to do is type in uh, what you want to see and the coordinates you want to see it. So if you want to see um, a hamburger around about here, maybe try typing hamburger at 25.35 and that'll put down a little marker here. And I'm just going to quickly check that the... No, it's all crashed. Interesting. So all the messages have stopped coming through. Let's, uh, let's make them all come back. I wonder, are we getting Twitch messages? Okay, so we've got a lot of test messages to come through. I'm just going to check onto Twitch um, and try paint, putting in a, at 50-50. Uh, Sorry for the technical issues, everyone. We've had a, okay, so, Odd Nina's chat's working. This is a classic, this is how you do it. This is how you check your stuff's working. Okay, now let's go. Oh, I can see myself, hello. Uh, right, okay, so test two at 90, 70, I 
We'll see if that's gone through. Interesting. I think we might have lost a connection to the Play Festival Twitch chat, unfortunately. Uh, okay, if you're watching on the Play Festival chat, go to alistair.games.play and you can join in. Everyone on Nina's chat, you can still join in. Um, sorry about that, Dino. Um, we appear to have lost it. Wait. I mean, I think it, I'll, I'll end up doing the whole show being complicated. I'm, so I think I'll just, okay, let's go with this. We've got a lot of stuff overlapping. I think that's glitchy. Sorry if I'm deleting your stuff. Let's continue. Okay, so we are trying to reinterpret the story we just told them in Nipperton Tory. We're trying to recreate it. So already we've got an unusually large tie has been requested. So let's make some space for that. Make an unusually large tie up here. So I'll, I'll presumably this is a tie that Donald J. Trump wears. So here's, here's the Donald J. Trump tie. What makes it unusually large? It needs to have a person attached to it and the person needs to be comparatively small. So let's make a little person who's wearing the tie. And let's, uh, there he is with his collar. And he's got his arms up in the air. And there we go. So this, this represents, this is how Donald Trump, he always felt like a very small man. That's the thing. So this is what we're recreating here. He was a small man in a big tie. Um, so let's see, I've got an orange pen here. So there we go. We've got Donald Trump in his orange tie there. Okay, a meteor, yes, yes. A sense of destruction. We had a very strong sense of destruction in this, uh, in this, uh, in this story. So let's put in a meteor burning with flames and it's crashing down from outer space. So we've got meteor, we've got Donald Trump in a tie. What do we want? We want a hand. Let's do a hand with lots of fingers and some nails. Very realistic. I'm very good at realism, as you can see. Here we go. So we've got the hand down there. What else? We want a crown, a crown and Donald Duck. Donald Duck, okay. Uh, how should I do Donald Duck? I need a blue pen for Donald Duck. Somewhere in here has got to be a blue pen for Donald Duck. Donald Duck saves Donald Trump, okay. So that's good, I can do both Donald Trump. There he is, there's Donald Trump in his giant tie. There's, here's Donald Duck, do his big duck beak and his big blue eyes. There he is. And does this look like Donald Duck? He's in a sailor suit and he's diving in front of a bullet being fired at Donald Trump. I forgot what, does he have webbed feet? Probably. There we go. There's, there's Donald Duck diving in front of a bullet. And there's, there's the bullet going in, the blood splatter, and we'll show the trajectory of the bullet so it was coming straight for Donald Trump. I, I'll be honest, I didn't think Donald Duck had it in him, but there we go. We got a lava and a bazooka and my phone number. My phone number. Okay. Um, right. Uh, it's a Pixel 6. So uh, that's what you wanted, right? A it's a Pixel 6. So there we go. There's my phone number, 6. Um, soccer, soccer and art. So let's, I mean, uh, oh, this is a good place. This will be a good place to put Beckham because he could be playing the soccer. So let's stick him in there. There we go. There we go. We've got Art and so, so soccer. So there's Beckham. And where's his football? I've lost the black pen. There we go. He's doing a header. He's, it's bounced off his head and it's going into the goal. I can't remember what shapes are on the football. So you're getting a variety. There we go, football, football. We're not very good at football in England, so I'm not expected to be able to draw them. So there we go, it's bounced off his head and it's coming right for your goal. Okay, R2D2 and the unbearable lightness of being, an umbrella, I can draw an umbrella. That one's nice and easy, so that one's going in. Um, the unbearable lightness of being. So I need something, wait, something that's light, a feather. A feather is light, so the feather will go there. We've got the unbearable lightness of being, uh, but we need to turn it into some kind of being. So uh, it needs to be, it needs to come to life. So let's stick some googly eyes on the fella. And that is an unbearably light being. There we go. 
Thank, thank you, thank you. Okay, an aubergine, an aubergine. Let's get the purple, let's do this as a, let's get a purple aubergine. So there's, there's the purple bit there. And let's draw a little green, a little green hat on it. So it goes, there we go. How's that for an aubergine? That's a pretty good aubergine. Thank you, thank you. Okay, a flying pig, flying pig. Uh, okay, so. Uh, it's flying, and there's its little trotters. Um, and it needs a nice big Superman style cape billowing in the wind as the pig flies through the air. Zoom! Flying pig, I'm quite happy with that. A nightmare sheep. A nightmare sheep. Is that a sheep from a nightmare or a sheep having a nightmare? Why not both? Okay. So it's got to be like, it's got to be like, it's just woken up from its nightmare. So it's got to have big, like, real kind of terrified eyes and like, Ah, I just woke him from a nightmare, and it's got to be woolly. And it's got to have little sheep arms and legs coming out of it. So here's our nightmare sheep. But now we need to make it look nightmarish. So how do I make it look nightmarish? Um, well, let's give it a little exclamation mark off its head just to show, ah, I just woken up. Um, and how do we make it look nightmarish? Uh, we will make it cry blood. There we go. It's going to cry bloody tears down its face, and there we go. It's a nightmare sheep having a nightmare. What do we think? Is that is that a nightmare sheep? Yeah, excellent. And a Halloween pumpkin. A Halloween pumpkin. Um, oh wow! Um, I just threw water everywhere. Where's my orange pen? Can't find it. We're going to use peach. Okay. Can't see where the pumpkin went. Um, so I'll just do it here. Excellent. We're making a beautiful tableau. It's all going very Hieronymus Bosch. I like that. We've got, you know, various earthly horrors around the place. So it's got its wee stalk. Let's colour it in a bit. And then we'll draw a spooky face on it. What expression does a Halloween cost pumpkin have? It's like, should it be scary? Or is it happy? What's it? Uh, scary. Okay. Scary. So we're going to give it some big eyes and a terrified mouth um, and then we're going to make it cry blood out of its eyes there we go there we go we got a scary just pools of Halloween and just make make that blood really pool pool there we go so we've got a scary Halloween pumpkin an angry thundercloud right okay why is it angry maybe it's because it's got blood in its eyes <laughs> It's angry because it's got blood in its eyes. There we go. There we go. Okay, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. What's SpongeBob going to be doing in this scene? What's SpongeBob doing? Well, let's uh, let's have him uh, growing out of the side of um, David Beckham. There we go. Does he have sleeves? I've given him sleeves. I think I've given him. Sleeves growing out of his. Just... Okay, so there's his eyes. I can't remember. He's got a nose, so let's give him a nose. That's, you know, S SpongeBob is a character I can picture so clearly until I try to draw him. Oh, bloody tears! We want some bloody tears coming out of, <laughs> coming out of David Beckham. Okay, um, and a four-sided triangle. Okay, a four-sided triangle. Um, okay, so. What other side? It's another side. Another side. There's another side to this triangle. Um, it's because little did you know this triangle is secretly evil. And as a sign of its evilness, it has blood coming out of its eyes. <laughs> oh, burned! Someone's asked me to put burned. Whoever did that, you are a, you are a god, a deity. Oh my God, I love Burned. Anyone who knows me um, and has spent more than five minutes talking to me knows I love Burned Desperate. I've accidentally made him happy. I've gone against, I've gone against the spirit of Burned by making him happy. Um, 
So there's something wrong with this band. I think I have a feeling what it might be. Yes, yes, my friends. He's got blood in his eyes. There we go. <laughs> Myself as a chibi. Okay. So, chibi. Everyone knows chibi. Very famous for having very big eyes. What are eyes filled with? Blood. Yes, yes. That was uh, as a chibi. I'm so cute. Hiding behind a pumpkin. There we go. There's we are. And my tiny little body. I'll, I'll do the little overalls. There we go. Feet coming out the bottom. You might be able to see I am wearing shoes. So I'll put shoes on him. And there we go. And, oh, I'm so small. The pressure is pulling inside my head. I have, it's just forcing the blood to fall, drain out of my eyes. Okay. So what's next? A funny cup harvesting the blood. Okay. A funny cup. Um, so what's a funny thing to put on a cup? Um, how about um, a, a clown? <laughs> yes, there we go. It's a funny cup gathering the blood. Um, here we go. So there we go. We've got a funny... Oh, it needs a red nose if it's going to be a clown. There we go. And it's gathering the blood, and it's sort of starting to fill up with blood. Uh, if anyone has ideas what should happen to the blood, um, let me know. Bloody tears, I think, coming out of the meteor. That's interesting. So it's just it's just crying bloody tears because it's sad. It's sad for destroying planet Earth. Um, it needs little eyes for the tears to come out of. There we go. It's a sad, sad meteor. Okay, so what do we got now? What else do we want? A scared wolf. It's scared because it's looking at that sheep and it's going, what is wrong with that sheep? <laughs> there is something desperately wrong with that sheep. Ah, what's the difference between a wolf and a dog? I don't know. Uh, claws, there we go. There we go. It's a, it's a wolf. It's a wolf and it's looking up at that shears, that sheep, and it's scared for obvious reasons, possibly to do with, uh, I mean, let's give this, just as contrast, let's give this some normal tears. Normal tears. So it's the one, the one last surviving normal, um, normal creature left in this, this nightmare landscape we created. What else do we want? A bouncing shooting star, okay. That's bouncing off of, Oh, so Donald Duck is making a dying wish. After saving Donald Trump from a bullet, a star lands and bounces on Donald Duck, and he makes a dying wish. So if anyone has ideas for what, uh... there we go. Does that look like it's bouncing? I hope it does. Wow, the character just fell away there. There we go. Come and help me, worm. Help me. Uh, what are we going to do today? Okay, what's next? A suit bot. I've done the bouncing star. Myself as a CB. An egg in a pink jumpsuit. And a suit bot. We, look at this beautiful tableau we've created. The eyes have fallen off the eye thing, so uh, put them back on. A suit bot. A suit bot. Uh, right. Uh, a suit bot, I guess, is a pot containing soup. Uh, so, uh, is that like a cauldron? Let's put a cauldron behind a sheep. And shade it in black. So it's got handles. Let's make a roaring flame underneath it. I'm seeing there's no more stuff coming through, which is making me wonder if the server's gone down again, the chat read is not working. Okay, so, I'll add this finishing touch. I'll scoot over to the thing. Yes. Everything collapsed again. It's back. <laughs> okay, try using the website again. Twitch chat, really sorry you're having problems as well. Hopefully this should be back. So we're going to get a lot of stuff coming through, I think, because it's going to get like a history of like a thousand messages all at once. So, uh, fish warm. My eyes are a tad dry. Please fix. Okay. <laughs> there we go. 
There we go. Yes, yes. Yes. The blood helps alcohol go to your... No, not alcohol, I meant oxygen. Close enough. Uh, so, tired eyes, a beard face, a crown. We want a crown. So, Donald Trump, we're going to give him a crown. He's temporarily king. Um, after the last king, Donald Duck, um, got assassinated. So, maybe we need some way of dispatching Donald Trump. I don't like... We've got too much Donald Trump on this picture. I don't like it. A cat invasion. Um, okay, a little cat. And then it's going to be... So this is a cat. And it's going to be piloting a little UFO to invade our planet. And then uh, it's got to have little lights there. You can see the cat invasion. It's got little green lights. And it's got a little beam coming out of it. And that's a tractor beam that's trying to beam up uh, the bleeding eyes of uh, thing. a guillotine. There we go, a guillotine. Um, and there is coming, it's a coming for Trump. It's a coming for Trump. It's, uh, it's looking at Donald Trump and it's thinking, uh, yum, yum. There we go. So there we go. Now we, I feel less bad about having so much Donald Trump on this page. <laughs> there we go. That's a guillotine coming to eat Donald Trump. Uh, let's do a couple more things, a couple more things. A blood volcano and flower power and sex, okay? <laughs> um, possibly a big graphic for this stream, so uh, might leave that one off, but uh, we'll go for a blood volcano. A blood cano. There we go. Raining down the, the hills of uh, this blood Mount Vesuvius into Pompeii to make sure that Pompeii stays well oxygenated. There we go. There's a blood volcano, and we'll do a tiny little... This is meant to be the city of Pompeii, which I've decided is made of skyscrapers, even though it was made of Roman stuff. Um, and there we go, and it's covered, pooled and pooled with blood. And there we go, everyone. Here is our tableau. Here is our vision of the beautiful, beautiful um, scene that we created together. What do we think, people? What do we think? Have we... Yeah, yeah, it's, it makes me want to cry, it really does, it makes me want to cry. Let's see uh, if I can make myself cry. Where did I put, oh no, it's down there. There we go. Oh, this is such a beautiful picture, it just makes me want to cry. So, uh, there we go. Uh, uh, art, it just makes me emotional. Does, it, does any of you get emotional when you look at a beautiful, beautiful painting. There we go. Oh, it was so... There we go. There we go. I feel... I just feel so emotional right now, people. I feel so emotional. So, we've created two beautiful pieces of art. We've created a beautiful painting. We've created a beautiful piece of literature. Now, everybody knows... Hello, everyone. I'm a snake. Um, the next most important thing is art, is can we sell it? So our next step is to move on to the selling portion of the game and test out our ability to sell. So I'm going to need you on, uh, you've got internet issues here. Is the server down again? You should be able to type stuff into chat now, advertising. If you want to sell something, type it into the box marked sell. If you're watching Nina's channel, I will just check that you're still connected. Um, everything is still connected, so I think it's fine again, but let me know if it isn't. We are selling my parents, people. If you want to buy my parents, then now there is an option. You can do that right now. Here on this stage in Hamburg, here I am selling you my parents. The, the wonderful Gordon Aitchison and his beautiful, beautiful wife. The biggest apple ever. That's right, my friends. I am selling you the biggest apple ever. It is so big you can crawl inside it. It has organs. There are organs in this apple. This is an opportunity to buy the first fruit with human organs. We are talking a once in a lifetime opportunity to buy the most incredible feat of genetic engineering ever. If you want to buy an apple, you want to buy me. If you want to buy me, you type in uh, on the ch uh, if you're on the stream, type in buy me and you can buy me. If you are in uh, in Hamburg right now, put me 
into the banking. Someone's just bought me. Someone's just bought me. Who just bought me? I'm yours now. I'm yours. Come onto the stage and claim me if you like. I don't know where my earphones gone. They're on the floor behind me. There we go. There we go. I can hear things again. Right. Okay. You buy two of me, you get one free me. That's right. Free Alistair's for your enjoyment. Free for the price of two. That's so much Alistair. We are also selling you peace. If you want peace, we all want peace in our lives, right? Everybody in this room, we all want some kind of peace. The anxiety that we feel in the world is just, it makes us so anxious, so sad. It makes us cry blood from our eyes. Uh, the peace, you can buy peace here on this channel, here on this stage, you can buy it. Someone's just bought my brain. Have it, have it. Scoop out the insides, scoop out the bloody insides and stop them from coming out of my eyes, everyone. Uh, you get war for free when you buy peace. This is an example. Whoever, who bought my brain? Who bought my brain? Okay, here it comes. There you go. Okay, my bloody, bloody tears could be yours for a low, low price, my friends. That's right. All you need to do is type buy my tears into chat and you can have a set of my bloody tears of your own. Use the DNA to clone me. Build an army of Alistairs to take over the world and create art for you. It'll be amazing. It comes, oh, or an extra toe. We're selling extra toes, and it comes with a free, uh, the free attachment to your body. You do not have to do the stitches yourself. If you're not good at sewing, we've got an opportunity for you. We will sew the toe to any body part you want to affix it to. We're selling fresh starts. If you want to make a fresh start in life, you can. That's right. It's like fresh starts, it's a new fresh fruit. Get a fresh start every day. Uh, someone has just bought peace. Enjoy the peace, enjoy the quiet, enjoy the solitude. Unfortunately, I, I, I can't be at peace. I gotta sell stuff. So come get your peace and then enjoy watching the show. Uh, someone's bought a fresh start. Player 10 has enjoyed a fresh start. I need water. Right, I keep on going. I'm selling you a fresh start if you want to start anew, because let's face it, right now, everything's gone, gone awful. Oh my God, I'm selling you absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's right, my friends. I have an opportunity to take a break for a while while selling you absolutely nothing, and I am going to use it. Dino has bought nothing. Enjoy nothing, Dino. Enjoy absolutely nothing. I hope you enjoy nothing. I'm giving you nothing, Dino. Nothing. You can have nothing from me. I am the, I'm in control now. I am the... What, what am I selling out? The police car in front of the house. The police car in front of your house. That could be yours right now. You can make all your problems go away now. All you need to do is buy that police car and then police ain't gonna catch you because you'll be driving, they'll be running. Go to Mexico, go to Mexico, escape with the evidence. It comes with a real life GTA. It's like living in San Andreas, just falling into the fold. Ducks in the park, ducks in the park. If you have ever wandered into a park and gone, Ah, oh, if only there were ducks here. There's nothing but swans. I hate swans. The, the ducks come with little ducks for free. The ducks have a, they have this crazy method where they just generate new ducks. I don't know how they do it. They just, I just see them. They, they do this kind of gymnastic, tandem gymnastic things. You can park in a duck if you have nowhere to park. Ah, oh, I've been driving around Hamburg for hours. I can't find anywhere to park. Well, we've got a duck. You can buy a duck, it'll fly to you. Stick your car inside the duck. You will have a large bloated duck, but it will contain your car. Where did I park my car? It's inside the duck. Where's the duck? It's the car-sized duck. You're not going to lose that. All right, so someone's bought parking the ducks. Enjoy your new parking space here in Hamburg inside one of our many, many ducks. Okay, so a nuclear power plant could be yours for a low, low price. If you want to buy yourself a nuclear power plant, then it could be yours. This is, just think of the power. Imagine the power in your hands. Don't hold it in your hands. You will get radiation poisoning. Wear thick gloves, okay? The nuclear power plant is extremely hot and you don't want to drop it. Wear thick gloves while handling it, but just think of the sense of adventure you'll have. Someone has just bought a nuclear power plant. Enjoy your nuclear power plant. Share the power with your friends. Keep it to yourself. Power, something about power, power hungry. I can't think where I'm going. The cat in the tree. I'm selling you a cat in a tree. I'm not selling you the tree. I'm selling you the cat in the tree. It comes with touch. Don't know what that means. The cat is in the tree. The cat is in the tree and I'm selling you the cat. You will have to climb up the tree and get it to yourself. 
but you can have the cat for a low, low price of only $59.99. Someone's bought the cat from the tree. Enjoy climbing up that tree. It's behind you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Who is that? Is that me? Oh, my God. What's up? No, no, don't go away from me. Where's he going? Where's he going? Oh, no. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? They made, they made clones. They made a clone of me with the blood from my eyes. Oh, no. Oh, that was a terrible plan. How did I let that happen? Um, okay, if you want to buy this terrifying vision, it's back. It's back. Oh, my God. Contact lenses. That's right. I'm giving away my used contact lenses. Okay? If you've ever wanted to wear contact lenses, but it's like I, there's too much vision in them. I want the vision to be used up. I want all of the focus to be just kind of worn out. I want them to be worn down to a flat, a flat front from overuse. Just so much blinking. I blink so damn much. Three ants. I am going to sell you three delicious ants for you to eat on your own. Oh, Kieran Ricky has just bought three ants. Enjoy the delicious spicy flavor of three ants. They are red ants. They will sting. Watch out. Um, it comes with free half an ant. That's right. If you have ever wanted to an ant, but you're like, the thorax is the best bit. If only these ants came with more thorax, we are giving you a free thorax with your ants. It comes with ants. The ants have ants. It's like a whole ant family. You can make a little dollhouse for them. All right, Texas. We are selling you the state of Texas. Um, some people say Texas is a state of mind. No, Texas is a state in the USA, and it can be yours for a low, low price. Someone's just bought Texas. Someone has just bought Texas. Enjoy the state of Texas. Just think how many seats that is going to give you in Congress. That's right. That is over 50 seats in Congress. You could swing the election. You could be president now. You could be president now. We're selling you Twitter. We're selling you Twitter for a low, low price that just keeps on coming down. Do you want to... Do you want to buy a service with moderation? No, no moderation. No, get rid, get rid of it, get rid of it all. We are, get, we are shedding everything, everything you don't need. No more moderation, no more fact checking. It's all gone for a low, low price. Um, we're selling Elon Musk. We're selling Elon Musk. Um, <laughs> if you seriously, if you seriously think, yeah, Elon Musk, He's going to improve my social media platform. Then you can buy Elon Musk for your company for a low, low price. Someone's just bought Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Jeff Bezos has just bought Elon Musk and is sharing him with Mark Zuckerberg. They're going to form a superhero team. It's going to be amazing. Nightmare sheep. Nightmare sheep. Have you ever wanted to go to sleep, but you really want a nightmare? Maybe it's Halloween. You can't afford a horror movie on DVD, so you want to watch. You want a nightmare. You want a nightmare, then count nightmare sheep. They have extra bloody tears. The tears of these sheep are so bloody you can swim in it. It's like, it's terrifying. It's terrifying. Please stay away from the nightmare sheep. They're haunting me. They are haunting me. Um, it comes with an ecological nuke, which is very useful for some reason. Uh, a kangaroo, a kangaroo. Practice your boxing skills. I guess that's something you could do with a, a kangaroo. Um, keep things in its pouch. You know, you've got, oh, because phones are so much bigger these days. Where do I put my phone? My pockets are too small. If only I had something to follow me around as I could put my phone in its pocket. A kangaroo is the creature for you. It comes with boxing shoes, which are like boxing, they're giant padded shoes. Like, uh, they're really, really quite springy. So you can, you can box with the kangaroo using your feet. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I think we've got time to sell two more objects. Two more sets to get them in. The next one is the Play Festival Twitch channel. Thank you to whoever watched Kangaroo. We're selling the Play Festival Twitch channel. That is correct. If you want to watch this 24-7, 24 hours a day, non-stop, just make me perform for you non-stop and get Matthias on to perform and Andreas and they will perform for you too. And we'll be like your own personal circus. Onwards, onwards to the future. Living in a 24-7 nightmare world on this stage for your enjoyment. Okay, literal fire. Literal fire. If anyone wants literal fire, that's not what we will just give you the fire. Give you the fire. Oh my God, I'm so tired out. I'm so tired out. I can hear them applauding me in the distance. All right. This is fine. 
this is fine. This is all okay. We've done a good, a good thing. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I think we've made a lot of money. Have we made a lot of money, everyone? Have we made a lot of money? We have shown. And what is art without money, right? Am I right? All of you NFT fans out there, what is art without money? So, in celebration, in celebration, we, we have made a beautiful piece of literature, um, we, which had like, we made a nightmarish piece of, uh, of, of art, drawing, that's the word I use for it. Nightmarish thing there. And now we've sold a bunch of stuff. We are millionaires, millionaires. This fills us with joy. Does it fill you with joy, everyone? It's fill you with joy. And what better way to express our joy than with the power of dance. That's right, my friends. The dance begins. You can interact on your telephones. Make me dance for your entertainment. <laughs> All you need to do when it loads, there you go, it's loaded. So can you hear the music? Can we crank up the music? So everyone can dance along. Everyone, let's crank up the tunes. Yeah. All right, so add dancing moves. Add the dancing moves. And I'm gonna dance your entertainment. Just tell me what you want me to do. One, two, three, four. Clap my hands. Yeah. Tango. Da, ba, da, 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 da. The chainsaw. One. Um. Superman. Woo. All right, sneeze. A two. Yeah, lighting, love it. Do much to drink. Oh, I've had too much to drink. Uh, get Swifty. Uh, I've forgotten what he does. Get Swifty. <laughs> the elevator. Uh, Superman. Let's do it one more time. Oh, I'll try to put my headphones in. Oh, no, flash. Uh, the train. Push up. The golfer. On the ball. Ah, it's coming back. Ow. Oh, um, Gangnam style. Uh, can, ah, yes, yes. Sleeping in the car. Um, I was waking up lawnmower. The Darth Vader. Uh, Superman! Woo! All right, let's keep this party going. We got more music, one more song. Let's hear it. Who wants one more song? Yeah! Are you ready? Keep on driving to dance moves if you want to see more dance moves. The infinite void of the universe. Ah! Uh, uh, a jump. Hamburger. Watusi. Um, Gangnam style. Woo! Mountain dance, uh, kittens, Beyonce hat, uh, uh, put a ring on it, dance it, ring, uh, rest it for a while. Uh, I'm glad it did that one for the one that's slightly longer. Okay, one, two, three, four. Push up. Texas folder, uh, I fold. A uh, hamburger. <laughs> Spider Man. Counting again. Kittens. Wanda. Resting. Yeah, get a photo of it. Thank you. That one will go on the album. All right, let's try that a little bit faster. Do you think you can keep up? Do you think I can keep up? One, two, three. Let's go. 
Radio. OK. For the final dance, does anyone want to join me on stage and dance with me? That's right. One more dance to close out the show. Who wants to come up and dance with me? And call me out to the staff behind the desk as well. You want to come join me? Come and join me. Moscow, Moscow. Uh, hello, Moscow. Come in. Yes, dance with me. Dance with me. Drink. Mamma mia. Ah! Uh, nothing. The Metal Gear Solid, I'm um, hiding the box. Bang. The handstand. Pick up my legs. <laughs> yes, nothing. <laughs> oh, greed. Thank you for ever putting these ones in. I like these ones. I like the breathing ones. All right, you ready to go again? One, two, one, two, three, four. The mirror dancers. Uh, <laughs> Revolta, Revolta. I am a robot. Okay. It's Tango with Rose. Uh, Hample Man. High ten. Breathe. Breathe. And you can't stop until it tells you to stop. Okay, now you can stop. One, two, one, two, three, four. Titanic. Ah, I'm sinking. Ah, hugging. I heard my pants rip. Um, blood tiara. Mamma mia. Ah, I can't hear you. Nothing. Chicken. <laughs> Bye. Call to dance. Metal Gear Solid. Superwoman. Handstand. <laughs> yes. Where's the video? Super Mario. Breathe. I think this is the end. It might be one more. I can't remember. You ready? Ready to sleep? <laughs> All right, sit down. I need this little one, two, one, two, three, four, it's still going. What? Cleaning. Um, new jump. Build new walk. Chicken. Nothing. Metal Gear Solid. Mamma mia. I can't hear you. Nothing. Chicken. Bye. Dance. Metal Gear Solid. Superwoman. The handstand. Yes. Woo! Yes, in person. Super Mario. Three. I was pretty sure this is the last one. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's have a round of applause for this awesome dancer. And an awesome round of applause for all of you as well. Well, me like this and these have been magnificent suggestions. But one question on everyone's lips now is, did we make beautiful art? Yeah, yeah, do we think we made beautiful art? Okay, let's ask the computer. Let's ask the computer, let's make noises so it can hear how wonderful the art is. We're gonna find out, does the computer think we made beautiful art? Oh! Strong button. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we made beautiful art! Woo! Thank you so much, all of you. Thank you, all of you in the audience taking part. Thank you, all of you on Twitch. I know you can't see me right now, but I am thanking you. You're all amazing. Thank you to the people on the tech team up at the back desk. You've all been awesome. Thank you to the people on cameras. Uh, once again, thank you, everybody who contributed to the show. Give yourselves a massive round of applause. So, 
My name is Alistair. I'm the creator of all the bits you've seen tonight. If you want to have a go at some of these for yourself, you can just download for free at hardfallenview.video. You can try out all of these on your own. Download them to play if you're a Twitch streamer. You can play them on Twitch and your audience can type into chat. If you want to play it with friends, you can do it on Discord, connect to Discord. And I'm just in the process of adding in a single player feature so you can play on your own against a series of robots who will help you create beautiful art. So, if you want to find out what I'm doing, AG Aitchison on Twitter um, will be where to find me until, of course, the website gets taken down. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Thanks for coming along. Have a great night. And I look forward to seeing you again in future. Thank you. Thanks everyone, thank you, thank you so much.